Many of you are probably wondering if the U.S. military can stop a North Korean nuclear missile from hitting the United States. I have bad news for you. It probably can't. That's because the U.S. military's missile defense system has yet to prove it can consistently stop intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs, according to the Union of Concerned Scientists. First, let's start with the fact that some ICBMs could travel up to 15,000 miles per hour. And since the travel trajectory of an ICBM could take around half an hour to reach a target 6,000 miles away, military officials only have minutes to respond should North Korea successfully pull off launching an ICBM at the U.S. America has something called the Ground-Based Mid-Course Defense System, or GMD, which tests ways to counter and intercept potential incoming ballistic missiles. These defense systems fire kill vehicles into space to destroy the ICBM while it's still in the mid-course phase of travel. Here's the problem. The GMD program has a testing record of hitting practice ICBMs only 10 out of 18 times over the past two decades. And that's with carefully scripted scenarios in which military officials know exactly when and where the ICBMs will be launched. Another real-life danger that GMD testing hasn't always been able to replicate in practice? Decoy warheads. In reality, most ICBMs can fire multiple warheads at once, some real, some fake. But accurately detecting and intercepting the real ones remains a work in progress. It's also very likely that during an actual nuclear attack, an opposing nation will launch many ICBMs from different locations, each with multiple warheads. If the GMD has struggled to consistently shoot these down in simulated scenarios, how can we be certain that America's ballistic missile defense system will be able to strike several simultaneously? We can't. Chances are one or more of the warheads will make it to the terminal phase, which is when it re-enters Earth's atmosphere and heads to its intended target. And based on North Korea's recent missile and nuclear tests, these warheads could possibly strike a U.S. city with as much as 250 kilotons of yield. In layman's terms, that's about 17 times stronger than the atomic bomb used when the U.S. attacked Hiroshima in World War II, according to the Washington Post. Now that's just in one warhead. Some experts have questioned if North Korea is even capable of launching an ICBM that could hit the lower 48 states. But currently, many estimate that North Korea's ICBM, the Fosun-14, can reach Los Angeles or even go as far as Chicago or New York City. You might be wondering if we have some Star Wars-style defense system hovering in space, able to shoot laser beams at any missiles that are aimed at the U.S. Well, there isn't. Former President Ronald Reagan tried to create this, but the program was too expensive and technically unviable. All we have is GMD, and based on his previous testing track record, it is likely to become overwhelmed in a real-life war situation. North Korea may very well be able to fire off dozens of ICBMs with multiple warheads, but only one needs to evade U.S. defenses. Then, it's lights out for America.